to make all this as clear as possible, I will offer you a few elements in which we can easily comprehend that the High Representative has taken actions contrary to the annex 10 of the Dayton Peace Agreement and the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Therefore, thereby bringing Bosnia and Herzegovina to a state of destabilization and beyond any further possibilities of continuing its path towards the European Union and NATO alliance. Mr. President, the first disputed element is the following. Bosnia and Herzegovina is determined by its constitution as a democratic country which operates under the rule of law and free and democratic elections. This is constitutional principle was violated by the High Representative by imposing changes to the election rules after the elections were over. With this, the High Representative deceived all the voters in Bosnia and Herzegovina because they would certainly have voted differently if they were familiar with the new election rules. At the same time, the High Representative deceived all the actors of the elections more specifically all the political parties and independent candidates who would certainly have offered different electoral lists and electoral programs that would be in accordance with these new electoral rules. How can Bosnia and Herzegovina implement its own constitutional principles that is a democratic country if the election rules are changed after the election? It cannot be done at all and it was the High Representative who made it possible to do so, who is in his work has no right to do anything contrary to the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Does one think that Bosnia and Herzegovina its citizens are not good enough for complete democracy? I would like to remind you that the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina is not a part of civilian aspect of the Dayton Agreement, which means that it cannot be interpreted by High Representative, because this is a duty of Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina only. I'm using this opportunity to remind you that in some European countries, Bulgaria, Romania and Greece, through domestic and international courts, there was a judicial invalidation of all changes to the election rules immediately before or after the elections, which judicial authorities saw as a direct attack to democracy. Likewise, in the United States of America, the Supreme Court invalidates changes to the election rules immediately before the elections or when those elections rules prevented certain ethnic groups defined by skin color from exercising their civil rights. It was the case of Purcell versus Gonzalez in Merrill versus Milligan. This all means that any change in election rules immediately before or after elections is considered as a direct attack on democracy in any country. The High Representative apparently did not take this into account. In a similar way, we have the opinion of the Venice Commission, the highest legal authority in Europe, which clearly states that the election rules cannot be changed too often and never one year before the elections for the reasons that all citizens and all actors of the elections have to be familiar with the new election rules in time. This opinion was not respected by High Representative either. The second disputed element is the following. The High Representative imposed such changes to the election law on Bosnia and Herzegovina in which the evaluation of living people is carried out through a mathematical formula and their coefficient for participation in election process and it is determined in accordance with their ethnicity. That means that you have citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina who are an ethnic minority of certain parts of the country and who have coefficient of, for example, 0.5, while citizens of some ethnicity in some southern part of Bosnia and Herzegovina have a coefficient 1.5, which gives them greater rights and chances in the electoral process. It is the ultimate form of ethnic discrimination, which is prohibited by United Nations, such as United Nations Convention on Civil and Political Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. I remind you that these international instruments are an integral part of the constitutions of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which have direct application. How can any country value people, living human beings, give them a higher or lower personal coefficient by which they should have a higher or lower level of human rights? The answer is very simple. There is no country with, which can do that. It is particularly worrisome that high represents completely destroy the principle of rule of law, which implies the equality of all before law without exception. In contrast, he created a system in which citizens, persons, individuals, and not 
equal before the election law of Bosnia and Herzegovina. In addition, the High Representative did not respect any single judgment of European Court of Human Rights in which the existence of systematic discrimination was established, which is a constitutional obligation in Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is another indicator of violation of constitutional Bosnia and Herzegovina and in international acts by High Representative. As an ex example, I will offer you the fact that as an ethnic Jew from Bosnia and Herzegovina in this new electoral system imposed by the High Representative, we will have no equal rights, opportunities or chances to adequately participate in the electoral process. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, it is obvious that someone is trying to create an environment based on the premise that equal but separate which is based on racial and ethnic discrimination, in which was rejected decades ago, just as all the elements of apartheid were rejected, which unfortunately, through the interventions of high representatives, are trying to impose in Bosnia and Herzegovina political and social system. This is absolutely unacceptable. The third disputed element, the high representative imposed amendments to the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina entity of federation, of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which uses two different censuses, one from 1991 and the other from 2013. His decision shows his exact intention to incorporation with the neighboring Republic of Croatia ensure unlimited participation in government for one political party, HDZ, which is a branch of the political party from neighboring Croatia. According to 1991 census, there will be a five minister from ethnic Croats controlled by the HDZ in the government of Bosnia and Herzegovina entity to the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. While according to the 2013, there would be three or two less. Therefore, High Representative fully consciously kept the ethnic quota from 1991 because it corresponds to wishes of neighboring Croatia. On the other hand, by using 2013 census to fill the upper house of the legislative body called the House of Peoples, he increased the quotas needed to make decision in favor of those same HDZ controlled ethnic Croats. This made Bosnia and Herzegovina the only country in the world that uses one census for the formation of legislative bodies of the government, another one for the formation of executive bodies of the government. With this, the High Representative wrote all citizens to Bosnia and Herzegovina into a state of complete legal uncertainty. In addition, Annex 7 of the Dayton Peace Accord Agreement mandates the return of all displaced persons to their pre-war homes and until this process is completed. The 191 census must be applied. The reason is very simple. In this way, we will never be possible to legalize the results of ethnic cleansing in Bosnia and Herzegovina in accordance with the judgment of International Criminal Court from Hague. However, with his decision, the High Representative informally declared Annex 7 ended and has formally accepted the results of ethnic cleansing, genocide, and other most terrible war crimes. This is not the job of High Representative, and it's very harmful to the Dayton Peace Accord. The form Disputed element refers to the fact that the High Representative planned uh, all the, this in a cooperation with the neighboring Republic of Croatia, which the government of the Republic of Croatia itself publicly announced, probably considering itself as a guarantor of the Dayton Agreement, which certainly is not. With this, the High Representative committed, among other things, a criminal offense prescribed in a criminal law of Bosnia and Herzegovina. In addition to high representatives selectively implemented the judgments of Constitutional Court of Bosnia Herzegovina, i.e., he did not implement the only cons concerning the suppression of discrimination, namely one in the Komšić case, thereby committing another criminal offense of disobeying the decisions of the Constitutional Court of Bosnia Herzegovina. And finally, in my conclusions, I want to share with you a few important observations. The intention of the High Representative to enable fairer elections with his decision was not realized. On the contrary, it introduced a number of confusing elements and made it difficult to carry out the election process. His second intention, though, through interventions into the Constitution of Bosnia Herzegovina Entity of Federation and the Electoral Law of Bosnia Herzegovina, allegedly, we wanted to enable unblocking of the process of government formation. Simply put, it is not correct because the unblockings were not removed and in the same time 
he introduced a significant asymmetry in the formation authorities in two BIH entities, where both entities must respect the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is not possible to have dif two different ways of government formation in two BIH entities, which are obliged to respect provisions of the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. By making these changes to election rules immediately before and after the elections, the High Representative violated the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the number of international acts incorporated into the legal system of Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is directly not and cannot be his role. Deceiving the voters by changing the election rules after the elections was held in act the High Representative that caused such a destabilization of the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is manifested by mass protests of citizens in front of the OHR building in Sarajevo who are dissatisfied and believe that upper had been introduced in their country. In addition, an appeal was submitted to the Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina because the High Representative decisions are clearly unconstitutional. Instead, instead of waiting for outcome of this court process, the High Representative puts the pressure on political actors, even on a judicial instances, to implement his decision as soon as possible. This is absolutely unacceptable. For all this reason, it has become more than obvious that the role of current high representative has become destabilizing in favor of one of the neighboring countries as well as some of his international mentors, but to the detriment of the state of Bosnia and Herzegovina and its citizens. I use the opportunity to emphasize that Bosnia and Herzegovina still supports the institution of high representative in accordance with the mandate from Dayton Peace Agreement, but that the activity of its current acting high representative has become a problem that needs to be solved as soon as possible. That is why it's important to say once again that anyone who performs the duties of high representative cannot do unconstitutional things or work outside of his authority, which is unfortunately the case now. This is why I hereby invite you to solve this issue together and help Bosnia-Herzegovina to the democratic path in a coming period. Thank you for your attention.